Andrew, we've just seen Dark Destroyer work this morning ahead of the Tarzina Trophy on Saturday. What did you ask of him today? Yeah, he just went out there and went a nice thousand and company and uh, you know, he had a nice little hit out there. Uh, the ground was very testing here this morning, so they're do, they're, yeah, doing a fair bit of work in the ground. Um, but you know, we're really pleased with the way his fitness levels indicated after the, uh, the gallop there. He looks quite forward, um, as, you know, certainly his conditioning uh, indicates he's forward and his, you know, his fitness levels look uh, you know, quite high as well with the way he sort of pulled up not blowing a lot. I guess there's a lot of residual fitness from the Brisbane campaign and uh, just tell us what you've done with him in the build up. Yeah absolutely look uh, you know it wasn't so long ago that he was you know running around the derby in Brisbane and look he went back to David and Diane's and had a, had a nice break there it's a beautiful property horses can't not do well there and uh, you know Amy done a wee bit of kip trot and cantering there on the on the home track there and he's come down and he's Obviously had a trial uh, 10 days ago and um, you know, he, he trialled okay that day, uh, he sort of got it wide on the track and it was pretty hard to make ground that day but he, he trialled satisfactory. Uh, certainly his work since the trial has been really encouraging, he's gone the right way, it's sort of stimulated him and really got him going the right way. So whilst we're, we're going down there obviously there's one or two really good chances in the race, uh, we'll be disappointed if he doesn't run well. Okay, yeah, well, from what was, we've seen of him, he looks in great order as well. From that trial, can he be competitive up against the Imperators and La Creeks of the world? I, we think that he's, he's going well and there's definitely further improvement post the race. You know, we think when he gets down to the mile he's going to look his best and is probably where he's going to race his best race. To say that he's going to go out and beat those two uh, might be a fraction optimistic. They're going to be pretty sharp and they're going to be up on pace and rattling along. But he'll be doing his best work late. Uh, he's a horse that's very consistent race day and he, and he seldom ever runs poorly. So look, uh, you know, he, he's an improver but he's certainly one to look out for when they're running a mile in 2,000 metres. It's interesting isn't it this race, you know, the, 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 the key chances are three year olds taking on weight for age and it is a step up against you know, some, uh, some experienced older horses. How's that transition for him? Yeah, that's, that's a really good question. Look, and you never know to your try. Look, we obviously saw Imperatriz really step up and get amongst them all. Um, yeah, and he's yet to do it. Uh, and often the odd, the odd four, or, or your old, four year old goes a little wee bit missing in the spring. But um, we're hoping he'll be there. You know, his, you know, his work's been encouraging. So we, we, we never know to your try. But uh, look, we're, he's an honest horse that will run well. One thing we've seen about him in, in Brisbane, he did strike a couple of wet tracks in Copper, but the, the race that I remember most is his Auckland Guineas, which is on a rock hard firm track, and, and he won that so brilliantly. How will he cope conditions if, if it is testing down there? Yeah, well, it probably uh, it's his advantage to, in that sort of ground. It does brings him into the race more, you know, especially with his fitness levels as high as they are, uh, and, and he handles all kind of ground, and he's certainly well adapted in those sort of conditions. So, look, if there's vulnerability of, of fitness in one or two, uh, we don't believe that's the case in our store in our case. And uh, you know, look, he will he, it will it would advantage him more than others. Okay, yeah, from here, what's the next stepping stone for him? Oh, look, his, his condition looked like he's pretty fit today when we won't be doing, getting too carried away for the rest of the week and um, no, we'll just tick him, tick him over and uh, get him down there safe and uh, we know obviously there's, there's still improvement to come. So, look, uh, whilst this is not the grand final, we still inspect him around very well. Okay, what is the target race? Oh, look, we sort of take it race by race. We just, and, and his performance on Saturday is going to be a fair bit guiding. Um, you know, he's, he's entered for races in Australia. It's just a matter of, you know, analysing his performance and, uh, you know, giving him his best chance somewhere in the spring.